In this class, we are going to learn how we can update a message or an email with the help of Microsoft Graph API. Usually, we will be using this update message Graph API in order to update some of the properties in a draft message. Earlier in our classes, we had learned how we can create a draft message and also we had seen how we can send a draft message which we had created. But between the creation of draft message and sending a draft message, if a computer or a bot thinks that they need to update few of the properties, then they have to make use of this update message graph API. One of the most important to note over here is the permissions. Like we had seen in all the cases in graph API, the permission is very important in order to communicate with mail graph APIs. I am making use of the personal Microsoft account that is outlook.com. So, I am going for this delegated mail.readwrite. So, here in this case application or the delegated user be it personal or work or organization's account you have to use the same permission. We had seen in detail how we can add the permissions, how we can register an application in Azure, how we can generate client secret and the value in detail in our classes previously. Please check out those classes if you are not comfortable in creating the application, registering the application or finding difficulties in understanding how to add the permissions in the app. If you scroll down, Microsoft has documented what should be the request headers, authorization and content type will be automatically taken if we are making use of Postman client which we are going to consider in this hands-on. Here there are few samples provided which we have to make use in order to update any email with the help of this graph API. Here the Microsoft has provided in detail what and all properties we can update with the help of this API. So for demonstration purpose what I will do is I will consider one of the draft message because usually we will be making use of this API in order to update pro properties of the draft message like updating the subject, updating the body to from CCC, BC and other stuffs like the properties associated with this message which we cannot see in the UI. So without wasting much time let's begin with our hands on. I am here in the postman client I have created this project that is update message request in the postman client wherein I have made use of this request sample request provided by Microsoft over here and I have copy pasted the exact same thing over here and the HTTP method what we need to use is the patch. Let me minimize this here at the end of this we need to provide the id of the message or the email as we had seen every email in our mailbox will be having a unique id which we need to get in order to talk with the graph apis now you might get a question how we will know what is the id for the particular message for that we had earlier seen how we can list the messages with the help of the graph api so with the help of this api we will be getting the id so in the response if you see over here I am referring to this draft message which is having a subject and the body as hello as you see over here. Also you can verify by seeing this is draft is true or false. In our case we are updating the draft message so we can verify along with this. Now if you scroll up the first thing over here in the response will be the id. So this is the unique thing which we will have. Just copy this from here. Copy and go to our update message. So here after the message slash we need to provide the id of the message for which we are trying to update the properties. Now here I am going to modify this subject. In subject we are giving subject value testing and in the body I will write the content type as HTML over here and the content I will provide a dummy HTML just with a bold character for this testing. I am clicking on this test button. Sorry I just misspelled it is a send button we need to click on. Now here we will get a 200 status which says that it has updated the details. Now let's verify from the console. So here on the right side it is not reflecting just let me refresh this page reload the page over here. Let me click on this draft mail. Here if you see the subject body it has updated. Now suppose if you want to update any other property which is not there in this sample then we can make use of those properties over here whatever is documented it will be possible to update. So I will update the two address whatever we see over here hello at the rate dummy.com something. So in order to get a sample we can just make use of this list messages API response itself. Here we can copy just two recipients from here. Just copy this go to update message. Just drag this little bit down. Put the comma. Paste this two recipient whatever we have copied. Let me just beautify so that it will arrange in a proper format. Now let me update this to our gmail address gmail.com name as well as address I will put the same thing copy and paste now I will hit on this send button now it again says it has 
updated the details with the status as 200 okay let me go back to this console right click and reload here if you see it has updated the to recipient like this we can make use of those properties whatever is available here in the table so those properties we can update with the help of this update message graph api so this will be very useful if we are planning to update any message content of our draft message before sending the draft message to the intended recipients in our next class we will learn how we can delete a message with the help of graph api